Hey everybody, Curry 6 here with the Caledas Express, your number one source for universes beyond. And today we're going to talk about the Spring Super Drop 2024 and my experience just buying it. Uh, that being the actual process of buying it and the value in which I just bought from Wizards of the Coast. I think the Spring Super Drop, just the quickest overview, I think the Super Drop is really cool. This is one of the better Super Drops they've had in a while and it's the first one that I bought all of the drops. I went ahead and just bought the foil bundle and... Yeah, I don't really feel any kind of way about it. Financially speaking, I haven't looked at the cards. I don't really care. I just wanted the cards individually. So I thought it'd be really cool to just look at it financially now that I have bought it and don't know and see if I got fleeced. And also just talk about the process. Checking out from the Secret Lair store this time has been kind of an ordeal. Um, <laughs> I'll show you some of the footage now, probably on screen. But yeah, I was sitting there for just sitting in front of my computer for 30 minutes, doing nothing, waiting for the queue to open up. Like I got on the initial page and was able to add the bundle I wanted to the cart. And then I was put in a queue for what was supposed to be like 55 minutes, but ended up being close to 230, where I just kind of sat there and waited. I ended up going to get coffee, playing some Minecraft for a minute, just chilling out. I eventually was able to get through and put my information in and get it shipped out, which was nice. But yeah, that was weird that we were <laughs> putting a queue for this. Maybe the queue helped because as of this moment, and it is four o'clock here in Georgia, it does not appear that any of the secret layers have sold out. I'm quickly scrolling through. And yeah, every secret layer at this moment is still available, which is pretty nice. I am happy to see that it's not selling out in the first three hours like the last super drop did. You know, we take those wins. Anyway, let's talk about the individual value of each secret layer. I have them all pulled up here. I have them all set up in a list and we'll talk about them one by one. Let's start with secret layer Hatsune Miku, Sakura Superstar. Now I will say all of these lists that I have are their lowest, cheapest printing, the cheapest printing of each in foil. So when I talk about these numbers, it's not these exact cards because these are, you know, really fresh to the market. And I don't think these are good indicators of what to expect that these versions of these cards will cost. I think that the, especially the Hatsune Miku ones, they're going to cost far more than any other version of the card in the future. So I just want to go ahead and let those prices settle and just talk about what we currently already know. So Shelter. Um, this sells for in foil for 79 cents. The cheapest printing is the Modern Horizons printing. Chandra's Ignition Magic Origins is its cheapest printing apparently, and it sells for $15.42. So it's pretty good. All right, Harmonize, cheapest printing, seems to be Eternal Masters. In foil is $1.10. Inspiring Vantage, which was relatively expensive up until recently, just got a reprint in Outlaws of Thunder Junction. And I think it also got a reprint in the Doctor Who lands, if I remember correctly. That one is now at $1.80. Feather the Redeem is the next card. The cheapest you can get hers are worth the Spark version and foil at $3. Azusa, Lost But Seeking, its cheapest printing is Corset 2021 and it sells for $5.40 in foil. So all in all, the Hatsune Miku secret layer that you can buy for $40 in foil. All of them are $40 in foil, so, you know, that's always the baseline. If you wanted to pick up these parts in foil, you didn't want the Hatsune Miku skin, you could spend $24.51. Like, yeah, it's a pretty bad deal, all things considered, if it wasn't Hatsune Miku and we didn't know what these cards were gonna spike. Especially Azusa and Harmonize are definitely gonna be big ticket items in the future, so, you know. Don't feel too bad if you bought it and feel a little fleece now, you know, I think it's fine. Next, we're going to do the Goblin Gram in foil. First one's going to be Goblin Ringleader at $1.30. Get that in Corset 2020. Then you got Goblin Chieftain, who sells for $7.57, so that's a pretty decent hit. Uh, you can get the cheapest version of him is found in Magic 2010. Then you got Brash Taunter, who's going to be selling for $3.66. The cheapest version of him is going to be found in Corset 2021 in foil. Goblin Welder, who sells for $15.46. Cheapest version of him is the Dual Decks Elves vs. Inventors. Yeah, Elves vs. Inventors. I gotta open it all the way up to read the whole title. And Mog War Marshal from Time Spiral Remaster sells for $0.76. Cents. So the whole total value on this secret layer is $28.75. Again, these treatments end up selling for much more than the regular versions. So if you feel like these prices are low now, then they are. Um, just try buying at the conventions. The same Brash Taunt will probably sell for six bucks. The Goblin Chiefs is absolutely selling for like 10, 15. Goblin Welder is going to go for much more, so don't feel too bad. Then we have Sans Mercy. So Doomblade, Info for Magic 2010, sells for $1.75. 
Ruination does not seem to have a foil printing, as far as I can tell, but that sells for $5.78. So that's the first foil. Who knows what that's actually going to be worth? Torment of Hellfire sells for $27.37. Cheapest printing is its original printing in Hour of Devastation. Mogus, God of Slaughter, uh, $18.70. Its cheapest printing is with its last secret layer drop. Original printing actually sells for like a dollar more, so it's about the same. And then Massacre sells for in foil, because this is its first foil printing since Nemesis, apparently. Sells for $22.67. So the value of the Sans Mercy Secret Lair is $76.27, which is interesting, as this is probably gonna be the most contentious one. People are not gonna want these versions as much as some of the other versions, but because of that Massacre being foil, first foil printing, that might raise the price. I feel like that's a little inflated. Massacre is not a card that's played a lot of places. So if we took Massacre off here, we'd still be sitting at like a $50 secret layer, which is fine. It's over the 40, which feels good. Let's look at Outlaws Anthologies Volume 1. So we have Gristleband, its cheapest foil printing is from Open the Hell Vault at $6.52. Tezzeret the Seeker, its cheapest printing is Dual Decks, Elspeth versus somebody. Tezzeret, yeah, duh, right? Yeah, Tezzeret the Seeker's cheapest foil printing is $18.64 from Elspeth versus Tezzeret. Then we have Nickel Bowl as Planeswalker, who's selling at $3.33 at the Dual Decks at Johnny versus Olus, I'm guessing. Yeah of Johnny versus Nico Bola. And Grenzo, Havoc Razor, its cheapest printing is $12.09 from Conspiracy Take the Crown. This puts us at almost exactly $40. $40.58 for the secret layer. So you are getting your value by buying this one. All right, then we got Outlaw Anthology Volume 2. So this one has Memnarch at $7.36 from From the Vault Lore. Vorinclex, Voice of Hunger, sitting at $5.93 from A Secret Lair Drop, the Phyrexian Text Secret Lair. Corona, the False God, we'll come back to that. Corval, the Face First King, sits at $13.18. And then Corona, the False God, sitting at $73.20 from Scourge. So it's only foil printing has ever been in Scourge, and I think this is a quite inflated price. This brings the Secret Lair value up to $99.60. Seven cents, and I don't think it's gonna last that. Verona is not like a super sought after commander, you know, it is what it is. We're singing a hundred dollars for the uh, Outlaws Anthologies Volume 2 because of Corona. I think that's going to drop fast, but it's still probably gonna hold like a twenty dollar premium, which would put our secret lair at like about value, which is pretty good. All right, the the hottest one, the one people are talking about the most. So Poker Faces, we got Professional Face Breaker sitting at $9.24 from Streets of New Capenna. Ranko Master of Pranks sitting at $1.34 from Commander Masters. Goblin King sitting at $34.64 from 8th edition. That seems to be his cheapest full printing. Jaxus the Troublemaker sitting at $0.76 cents from Streets of New Capenna. So that's two Streets of New Capenna characters. Actually, that's kind of weird. But then we have Coffin Queen sitting at $10.31. Coffin Queen has never had a foil printing actually, so this will be Coffin Queen's first foil printing. And I expect this to hold a little bit of a premium because Coffin Queen is a really good card. It's a really weird old card. And the fact that, like I said this in the last video, that she doesn't have her actual text on her is probably gonna make this a little less sought after, but definitely more than the not foil version of her. Uh, I think the foil version will probably hit like a $20 premium. So, but as it sits right now, cheapest foil printing of everything that can be foil is $56.29. So, not bad, still overvalue. All right, our last secret layer, Outlaws of the Junction Foil Edition. We've got Magda Brazen Outlaw sitting at $6.67. That cheapest print is gonna be the alt art one from Caltime. Dak Faden, $9.40 from his last secret layer draw. Pretty cool. Galita's Trade of Get, cheapest printing is the Oath the Gatewatch one, sitting at $16.67. And then Grease Fang, We'll keep a boss. My rat queen is sitting at 28 cents in foil. So not really propping up the value of the secret layer too much. However, um, I do think, especially Grease Fang, who does still see play, and Kalitas, uh, Trader Guy, I think those two will have a much higher foil premium than the rest. So I'd keep an eye out on those two. And yeah, that is the value of each individual secret layer. Now, I bought the foil bundle, so I paid, uh, what was it? $300, $304 for all of it. So I can tell you right now without doing actually adding it up, I don't think I hit my money back, but like maybe it did. So let's do that real quick. All right, just do the math on this. And it turns out if you buy the bundles that contain everything, including both English and Japanese Hatsune Miku sets, 
you're sitting at about $383.60 approximately. And that does not include the Seaborn Muse that you would get by spending over $200. I think you would add another eight bucks for that. So, hey, editor me here, just noticed as I was finishing up recording and editing that almost all of the bundles are sold out. Like six of the bundles have already sold out and the only ones left are the Outlaws of Thunder Junction non-foil, Outlaws of Thunder Junction foil, all of the non-foils, and Spring Into Action non-foil. Uh, it's been six hours since the sale went live, about five hours since the sale went live. And yeah, also, I noticed, yeah, the Seaboard Muse is no longer available. So if you spend $200, you no longer get the Seaboard Muse, which is... <sighs> Yeah, anyway, back to the video. We're sitting at about, what, quickly to math, 391. So, not too bad. You need to get your value back out of this secret layer by buying the bundle, but, you know, it's not really, again, I didn't buy it for the value I bought it because I actually like all the cards on these secret layers, so pretty happy about that. I'll be opening these secret layers on the channel as soon as I receive them, so keep an eye out for that. And yeah, um, that's about it. See ya.